The South Valley, an administrator in Avenal could face criminal charges for allegedly embezzling nearly $300,000 from the Reef Sunset Unified School District. CBS 47's Connie Tran brings us the story. According to an audit requested by the Kings County Office of Education, Michelle Cotillo spent nearly $300,000 on gift cards. The audit also found she could have been embezzling since 2006. The Reef Sunset School District, based in Avenal, serves about 2,700 students. There are 300 employees, and one is now under scrutiny for allegations of embezzlement. I believe they have a statement. Okay. To, to Todd Barlow is the superintendent of schools for Kings County. He says nine months ago, the district received an anonymous tip that Michelle Cotillo, the district's chief business officer, was allegedly purchasing gift cards for personal use. We hired an independent um, accounting firm to conduct uh, an, what's called an extraordinary audit. The audit was released in September and presented to the public in Thursday night's Board of Trustees meeting. The sad thing is that somebody was in a position to to take money away from programs that are supposed to be serving children and and they abused their power in order to do that. The report found Cotillo allegedly bought gift cards from Kmart, Barnes & Noble, Save Mart, and restaurants. She would allegedly invoice the gift cards as supplies for students. The audit shows Cotillo purchased nearly $290,000 worth in gift cards since 2006. Superintendent David East of Reef Sunset says Cotillo is on leave and, quote, the district remains committed to its service to the students and families in Avenal and Ketamon city. We look forward to implementing the corrective action recommendations from the Kings County Office of Education and ensuring that our fiscal practices are sound, unquote. Cateo has worked for the school district for 23 years. The Kings County District Attorney's Office will now determine if there are any criminal charges. In the control room, Connie Tran, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.